Hi guys, welcome back to my rabbit hole of K-pop. I am Atomic Rabbit. I knew I could have waited with this one until I get to getting to the rest of Monster X, but I really want to watch this now. I want to try and keep everything comeback related with the comeback. Live stages and such, I will probably go do that when I am concentrating fully on Monster X. It's probably gonna be another week before I reach that exact point maybe two. I'm sorry, I cannot give you a definitive timeline. I should be able to reach that somewhere in the coming two weeks. And I needed to have another video for today to post together with the No Mercy and the Going 17 before heading into the weekend. Sadly, only I have time for this video or for these two because I also need to finish writing a job application. Oh my god, I'm applying for a job. It's been a very long time, so this is kind of a victory for me to even write this and going to send it. Anyway, I'm making time for this. Let's go watch the behind the scenes. <laughs> For some reason, it sets automatically to Korean. I have no clue why. Uh, this is so refreshing watching this after the, the, the absolute torture I'm putting myself through and you guys are putting yourself through if you're watching No Mercy with me again. This is absolutely so refreshing and heartwarming and I love seeing this and I know I haven't brought them to the channel for a long time. I know I should do more. That doesn't mean that they're not present in my heart and when I watch all of this I just feel this kind of warm sensation coming over me in a good way. It just makes makes me happy and it makes me happy to see them have fun and it makes me i don't know i i don't really experience happiness except when i'm into my k-pop world which i'm also bringing with me everywhere i go so when i listen to their music i have all these images playing in my head of the music that i'm listening to of these people and that just brings me comfort so i really take them with me every single day and especially when i listen to their music because these guys are amongst the people that make me want to become better and do a better job and you know pull stuff out of myself that i know is in there but that i can't really reach yet and this is so uh, th this is what it makes me feel. I know this is totally random to drop this on you like that, like that. <laughs> Wow. 
Every group has a unique vibe, right? Every group has their identity and their songs and their stuff. And But there are just a few groups that really have such an authentic vibe that whatever you experience with that as a fan or someone who is discovering the group or diving deeper into the group, it gives you these indescribable feelings and these indescribable impressions and you really feel and know that it is completely different from all the rest. K-pop is not something that is mainstream. Mainstream is not something that can be applied to K-pop. Even if we have various groups with various companies and you know that they are part of a company and yes, of course, SM comes to mind, but so all the groups that are with SM, there is a certain factor that you can get from it and you hear or you know that it is an SM group, but still they have their individual things. You listen to music from that and you know that it is a certain group from SM. The same goes for Big Hit or Hype or whatever they're called right now. And you have uh, the company that has Mamamoo and One Us and you know, there is you can find something and I'm sure that Gravity, for instance, also, I, I think I heard one or two fragments of songs and I could tell like, okay, I understand why this is part of that. But there are a few groups that are part of companies. They are under companies, but they are authentic. There is something that sets them apart and it's hard to put into words. And I think that this is one of those things that if you know what I'm talking about, I don't need to explain it to you because you, you feel it and you can probably maybe even word it better than me because you have been a fan for a longer time, probably. And if you're new, I think you might understand what I'm talking about because you feel kind of the same thing. Saying the same old stories like they have insane talent, they're insanely good, they have unique, they saying all of those standard things makes it make mainstream. And that is why it's difficult for me to put into words because using terms like insane, talented, that takes away the authenticity because it is still putting some sort of stamp on it. But Monster X is one of those groups that opens their house for you. Like their door is open, you are welcome to walk in. Like you are a neighbor, you live next door, you need something or you just want to come in and say hi. Their door is always open, you can always knock on it, you can open it yourself, you can walk in, you are very welcome. They will, you know, say hi while they're busy cooking food and they'll invite you to have dinner. 
with them and you just spend a couple of hours together and you talk and you end it with a glass of whiskey on the porch before you go back home and you, your whole evening was just made within a couple of hours and that leaves you with this lingering feeling of just comfortable happiness peaceful tranquility or something it's something that is better than yoga or mindfulness that is what monster x is i hope you understand me <laughs> Okay, so there's no subs with this. I don't know where this is going. I'm gonna try my best. I don't know if there's subs. I don't know. It's here. I'm prepared. I don't have time to go look for anything else. So I'm just winging it on this one. If you don't know, now you know. Okay. Oh, I can't read it, but it's going too fast. I, mm, I'm still. <laughs> Yes, very noisy. And hot. Clothes. Clothes are too hot. Hello. 
Antonio I still, I still remember the first thing I saw from Monster X was Fantasia, and I still remember the first time I heard Juhan rapping, and he came in. How I couldn't help but laugh a little at it. At his, my level is A. That will stay with me forever. But the thing is, and I realized this as I was watching No Mercy, combined with everything that I know right now. In case you don't know, Juhan is one of my biases in. In Monster X, and I'm afraid there's a fourth in the bias line. I know I'm biasing the whole of Monster X at this point. Um, I realized that my favorite rapper of all time has been Eminem. There have been some favorites, and there have been less favorites, and there have been tracks that I'm not interested in at all. But as a rapper, as an artist, Eminem was always uh, my number one, and. I realized as I was watching No Mercy yesterday that Johan has kicked Eminem of that top one spot. For me, Johan is one of the best rappers, but not only rappers, he can also, yeah, he's one of the most complete artists in music, in my opinion. And I think I said this probably, I don't know, I think I talked about this earlier as well, in earlier videos. I'm talkative today.
I'm sorry, this was probably one of my more messier videos today for you guys. Sometimes that just happens. I will let you go enjoy your weekend. I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching and joining me on my couch today in my rabbit hole. I will see you on the next one, guys. Adios.